If you've got a really slow laptop, but you want to use it on the internet, then here are some tips that have been left as comments on one of my previous videos. This is a very low power laptop. It's sort of a netbook era laptop, really low power A4 1200 CPU here. And it's also got a touchscreen. It doesn't need one, but it's got a touchscreen. But it's fine for sort of playing back video, uh, streaming over the network. Um, it does that fine. It's fine for sort of uh, typing in Word, etc. And there's really low CPU usage. So for simple offline use, it's great. But when you go on the internet, there's all sorts of uh, web pages with loads of content that, you, that slows this down to a crawl. So first off, I'm going to just very quickly check the performance in the appearance settings and adjust this for the best performance. This turns off a lot of the effects. This will, should make Windows generally much quicker. And I'm just going to go through some of the tips that people have given um, for improving performance. So one of the things that people recommend, and I've discussed it before or in the last video, is the H264 IFI extension. And this will or should make your YouTube playback much better. And you can get a plugin for most browsers. So here it is, the H264 IFI extension. And you can also add the browser extension uBlock Origin. This has been suggested by a lot of people. And that will sort of help speed up general websites, news websites. For example, it's blocked. 33 um, ads on this uh, website and does speed up browsing a little bit as you can sort of see here it's still using a lot of processor but we do have lots of tabs open and this laptop only has uh, four gigabytes of RAM so it is going to struggle the other thing people have suggested is installing the Brave web browser that has built-in blocking that so will speed things up. This is the uh, video I'm talking about uh, with loads of comments. And this also lets you um, disable JavaScript. And that can also sort of speed things up. And we may as well look at some of the um, websites that you can use that will help. For example, ProtoWeb is designed to um, speed up the internet when browsing various websites. There's also 68k.news. Which is basically a fairly text based um, website. Although it looks like it's mostly uh, the headlines. Another option is um, using AdGuard DNS. And this one, you actually set your DNS to AdGuard. So let's just do this. You can get these off the AdGuard DNS website, put that in. And we should, for example, if we go to a website, we should be able to get the website without necessarily having to get all the adverts that go with it. We can also reject cookies. And let's just go to a website I haven't been to um, on this laptop, as far as I'm aware. It's interesting that all of these are um, videos, essential cookies only rather than sort of um, 
web articles. Let's have a look. We're getting a relatively responsive website. I haven't seen any adverts so far. Um, let's go for another website that's mostly text. Let's have a look at this. This isn't too bad, really. This is, I'd say, quite usable. Um, it's quite nice browsing the web without adverts. Another thing worth checking is your startup settings. Make sure there's not a bunch of things in here that you don't need, and you can just disable these. as needed and this laptop has an ssd drive in it already so it, we're not having slow down due to the hard disk drive um, but just the sort of processing of all this stuff all the web content that there is so it's mostly adverts that cause a lot of the issues and this is doing much better with and without the adverts and there's so many more suggestions in the comments of the last video that i'll link in the description it's well worth having a look and seeing what is available to you um, if you don't have an ssd drive that's something to look at um, someone suggested using ready boost if you don't have much memory in your system um, it's kind of about balancing. This has got 3.4 gigabytes of RAM usable, but if we had less then, and we had a hard drive, then ReadyBoost could help avoid using the hard drive if that's slowing down the system. Another suggestion was using the Lynx browser. Um, it's not the easiest to install uh, due to SSL, but um, there are fairly detailed instructions on various websites. And, you know, if you're using something other than Windows, then it should be probably quite straightforward to install. Or it might already be on there if you're using Linux. Another suggestion is using RDP or VNC. So if you've got another machine, that is quicker that you can um, VNC or RDP into, then you can go onto it and use that for sort of browsing. Um, and assuming it's a quicker machine than what you're using, then you should get a quicker experience, um, depending on your internet speeds, etc., and setup of the system. Um, So this is the BBC News website in um, VNC uh, on a different um, PC that I've connected into. There is some sort of, um, you can see this sort of lag in scrolling, but it's quick at loading everything. Um, and if we go to BBC page on the actual laptop we can see it seems slower to load the page
Not actually that much difference, I suppose. To seem kind of quicker going through these screens, I'll, I'll do the same thing on the laptop and we can sort of see what's happening. So the top. We're getting the page, but then it's it's taking a bit longer to sort of draw in the elements. Another thing you can do is simply close down all the different tabs you have to free up a little bit of memory. And stick to mostly text-based websites like Wikipedia. Just get a relatively fast experience on this, on even low-end hardware. So it's, you know, simple text, tables, very few images, and just lots of links. So it's easy for this um, laptop to deal with it, even though it is quite a long page. So, um, what do you do to speed up the internet on your PC? What have I missed? Um, hopefully I haven't missed something really obvious. I guess it's probably worth seeing which browser works best for you. Um, Microsoft Edge seems reasonable. Um, and... Yeah, it's not using too much memory and can support a number of different tabs. But if I've missed anything, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. There's different ways you can get involved. Always look forward to reading comments. And yes. When I say the internet, I of course do mean the World Wide Web. Um, most people these days just think of it as the internet, don't they? They don't sort of go into a shop and say, oh, I want to go to the World Wide Web. Um, they just want to go on the internet. They, it's just people call it the internet, don't they? And obviously the internet is what the World Wide Web is built on. But, you know, 99% of people just call it the internet. So, um, thanks again for watching and see you in another video. Here is uh, one of the things mentioned that I have missed in the earlier portion of this video. Uh, it's the FreeTube app. Make sure you find the app. Another thing is Piehole. If you're set up with the right kind of kit, um, you want to set up a little kind of network Piehole, server install, um, and have the right operating system. So here we go. These are the operating system supported, or you can put it in Docker. Um, 
But yeah, that could be another option. Okay, bye.